What's up guys? Mark Santa Maria back with an RC vlog. So today I am upgrading my Traxxas Fortec 2.0 XL5. Uh, I know it's kind of weird. I was doing a lot of crawling, doing a lot of racing, and then I'm going back to this. Well, the reason why is because it's been raining a lot here. The trails have been closed down, super muddy, and I'm not a big fan of getting my, my crawler all muddy. So we're going back to the Fortec. But I'm going to transform my Fortec into a VXL. And before I do that, I'm going to walk you through the differences on what makes the, Ford, the VXL different than the Traxxas Fortec 2.0 XL5. So here we go. So the most obvious things, the most obvious differences between the XL5 and the VXL is the electronics. So you get the brushless ESC and brushless motor. Not only is brushless a little bit faster, but it's also it can handle a three cell battery, which is what I want to run in here. That's the only way I'm going to get to the speeds that I want to get to. The remote is also different. The remote is that TQI, uh, TQI, the one that has a Bluetooth module in it. The VXL comes with the one with the Bluetooth module. The, the XL5 comes with the normal, you know, dainty, the really entry level remote. So those two things are big. If you want that, if you want that ability to sync up with your phone, Bluetooth to your phone, then you probably want to go ahead and get that TQI radio. So aside from the electronics, the there are some actual other differences, like the turnbuckles are completely different. The, the XL5 actually doesn't even come with turnbuckles. It comes with these linkages that you can't adjust. The VXL comes with turnbuckles where you can actually adjust your camber and tow. It also comes with, uh, I believe they're harder tires. And I know what you're thinking, or at least what I was thinking when I first found out they were came with harder tires is I thought that would be kind of dumb because you want more traction to have softer tires. Well, the reason why the tires are harder is so that the 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 way how much it expands is a lot, you know, it doesn't expand as much. So whenever you start hitting these really, really fast speeds, the biggest thing that you're fighting is tires. And whenever you get over like 60 miles an hour, the tires, you know, they start this big, but they get, <laughs> they turn into pizza cutters. So if you have super soft tires, it's gonna be really hard to hit those crazy fast speeds. So the VXL actually comes with harder tires. So the last huge difference is the center drive shaft. The center drive shaft on the XL5, it comes with this aluminum, it's a really light aluminum drive shaft. Well, if you're gonna run 3S VXL, it's probably gonna bend that thing pretty quick. So the VXL actually comes with a big steel center drive shaft, which I have right here. So I'm gonna put that one in. But aside from that, the cars are pretty much the same. Nothing internal that are that's different besides the things that I know, um, noted. The servo saver, the XL5 comes with a really kind of generic aluminum servo saver. The VXL comes with one that's anodized, which looks kind of cool. I didn't even, I'm not using a servo saver anymore. I compl I just have went to a servo horn and went middle gear, servo gear, so I'm not really worried about that. So you're probably asking yourself, if I'm gonna upgrade this thing to a VXL, why didn't I just get a VXL to start with? Well, there's actually a few things. The first thing was I wanted to see how the spec class would be spec racing in which spec racing was fun unfortunately the following is just not big enough and if I'm gonna go take my time to go out racing I want to make sure there's a big solid class to do that kind of spec racing which there, there wasn't I mean there was a few of them out there but not enough where it was gonna be a guaranteed class every time uh, the other thing was is there's actually two different types of VXL brushless systems there's a four pole VXL brush system and then there's a two pole VXL bar system. So two pole actually spins faster and I didn't want the four pole brushless system in here. I wanted the two pole one. So I knew for a fact I was gonna put the two pole brushless system in. I don't know. I actually wanted to do a test to see which one was actually faster, but just from a mechanical standpoint, two, two pole is supposed to have a higher revolution. Uh, the other thing was the turnbuckles were just like the regular uh, steel turnbuckles. I really really like the anodized aluminum turnbuckles. I think they look really cool and I, I guess I ended up really liking these whenever the Revo Platinum came out. The Revo Platinum came with all red anodized so I got the red anodized turnbuckles on here. Uh, the other thing was the tires. I actually wanted the softer tires especially because I was going to do the spec racing thing or try the spec racing thing so I got the softer tires. Now the last thing I missed out on, which I wasn't too upset with, was the TQI radio. If I'm going to go super fast like that, I'm going to I'm going to want a, a a fairly high end radio to run on this thing. So I went ahead and just replaced the radio. 
So I didn't really, I didn't really care about the TQI radio. Now that I think of it, I kind of wanted it because I could have, I could have tested how the speed was between an actual radar gun and what the TQI radar or the TQI speed said it was. So, but I mean, hindsight 2020, right? But I'm going to go ahead and start doing this, working on this thing and start changing these things out. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but I'm hoping to get this thing running tonight. And I'm, I'm, I'm just excited to get this stuff on because it's going to look so sick. So let's do it. Man, this turned out so sick. It looks so good. The The turnbuckles completely changed the car to me. I think they just look awesome. Also, I, I actually kind of like the steel look. So I'll put the steel center drive shaft in. It's got that kind of matte look to it. I think it looks great. So maybe the VXL version isn't that bad with the steel turnbuckles. But anyways, everything went in really good. The only thing that happened that was kind of a, a speed bump or a hiccup was... The holes that for the ESC to mount the ESC onto the chassis, they weren't small where you could thread the screw through. You actually had to make the screw go all the way through and then put a nut on the other side. So I'm going to try to show you where I put the nut on the other side to hold the ESC in. And I couldn't, it was really hard to get to. So I actually had to remove the receiver box and the servo to mount the ESC. But I got it all mounted in there. It's in there nice and secure. Everything else mounted up just fine. Uh, it seems like the wires, there's a lot of wire. As you can see, the motor and ESC wire, there's a lot of it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they made it shorter on the on the Fortec VXL whenever they put it in there. But, uh, I mean, it's really, that's just me being anal and me being nitpicky. But I already got it calibrated, and I'm really excited to hit the track with this thing. Or not the track, but the, the parking lot with this thing. And see how fast it goes. When I do my first run, I'm going to do it with the two cells so you guys can see the difference between a brush system and a brush system. And then I'm going to start going fast. I got, I'm going to put the three cell in it and I got all the gears to make this thing. My goal is to hit about 80. So after I hit 80, I'm going to basically put it up on my, in my office, on my desk and just say that it's like a 80 mile an hour trophy. So thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, and hopefully you'll see me next time. Later guys.